Hello, I'm weather analyst Philip Duncan. Uh, we have a lot of weather moving towards us at the moment from the Tasman Sea. It's going to bring some interesting weather for Queen's birthday weekend. Before I get into that, I wanted to show you a couple of uh, photos. This is an amazing photo. It came out of uh, NASA over the weekend. This is, uh, of course, the shuttle Endeavour, which is currently uh, at the space station. They're doing a, a spacewalk here, and they were doing some repairs and some maintenance on, on, as it flew over Earth at a very, very fast speed, as you can tell from the blurred lights below. Very cool photo, that one. And this one sent in to us by Lindy Payne, uh, Clark's Beach. An unusual photo showing not only cows, which isn't unusual, I suppose, but orcas as well. So a pot of orca came in, cows sitting there. None of them seemed too interested. I think there might be one over here is looking over towards them. But very cool photo sent in uh, by Lindy. Thank you for sending that in. All right, let's have a look now at our weather. We've got, as I say, a fair bit happening. And it's all right above me up here. This is the system that brought in the water spout to Sydney on Monday. It is now moving towards us. Don't worry, we aren't predicting water spouts for New Zealand. But it is coming in towards us with a fairly active belt of rain. But it's not really getting too far to towards us because of a very large high that's over us, right over this area here. Now we, as you watch those clouds, they're not really coming any further south than where my hand is here. And that's where it hits that high air pressure, basically like slamming into a wall. It can't go any further. So it looks ominous up there, but it is moving only at a snail's pace towards us. Clearing skies over a lot of places, um, in, particularly in Auckland where we've had a lot of showers uh, dotting around the area, they are starting to clear away finally part of that southwest wind direction which isn't exactly the best wind direction in winter. Eastern areas, very sunny and dry, and we've heard some spectacular reports. Lovely weather in Christchurch yesterday, and uh, well, not too bad, but a cloud around at the moment, but uh, overall the weather patterns is setting down, settling down for the whole country. All right, so let's have a look and see what is happening wind-wise, as I just said. Uh, it is very calm over the South Island, or at least getting that way. This dark blue that you see here means little to no wind. So most of the South Island, little to no wind, uh, as we head into Wednesday afternoon. Breezy winds still just pushing through northern areas, but it's much lighter than it has been. Most of the wind now pushing out to sea, and we can see the squash zone here between that developing shallow area of low air pressure and the monster high that's down here, around about 1032, 1035 hectopascals, which is nerd talk for pretty big high. Okay, now as we go to the end of the week, see what happens. The high pushes out over the South Island, out to the Pacific Ocean. Meanwhile, our low up here deepens just a little bit more and the squash zone starts to build. So by probably actually as early as Wednesday night, we'll start to see a gentle easterly building up in here. On Thursday, it gets stronger, particularly in the far north. And then by Friday afternoon, which is this map, we see strong winds here in the red, pushing in towards northern areas. And it'll push right down over Coromandel, eastern Waikato, Auckland, most of Northland, and eventually getting into places like Taranaki. But the rest of you, South Island particularly, looks very, very calm, settled, the odd light frost even in sheltered areas. Now we'll put the rain on here and we can see where the rain clouds are lying. So Friday afternoon you can see the rain still a fair bit off. It is patchy, it's not a big solid mass of rain. It's broken up a bit, fragmented, we see some more out over here. And this system also coming in, is going to help join forces with this. So let's have a look now at Saturday, we'll just do the rain maps. This is Saturday morning early Saturday morning. We can see the rain clouds coming in here. Now there could be a few showers dotted around here. Computer models are having a little bit of trouble figuring out whether it's going to start to rain on Friday night or later on Saturday. Now the models that we've been using here, these maps by WeatherMap, have been showing the rain clouds um, consistently developing during Saturday and not Friday. So we may well see a little bit of rain up in the far north, but this is early Saturday morning and the rain clouds are certainly pushing in. The winds are pushing east. On Sunday morning, we see that rain now pushing into much of the country. All of the west coast, in fact, of both islands, seeing rain developing or pushing through. Clearing in the very far north as we go into lunchtime uh, Sunday. But that heavy rain is going to push into Bay of Plenty. Watch for possible rain warnings there. And also possible rain warnings around the upper South Island and also the lower part of the South Island where that other rain clouds uh, were, were joining forces. On Queen's birthday Monday, well, look at that. It's uh, looking a lot, lot better. Still a bit of rain or showers around the central area, but that should clear. This is Wednesday, uh, sorry, Monday morning, 6 a.m. Monday morning, and we're going to see a clearing spell in here, which will come through on Monday. Note the direction of the wind is now a northwest of these isobars all along here, pointing to northwest, one of our warmest wind directions, if not the warmest wind direction. So we're in for a mild Monday as we uh, celebrate Queen's birthday. 
Right, now let's uh, go a little bit further on because I was talking about something before about a cold snap maybe for next weekend. This is it, this is next Wednesday. We see it pushing towards us. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday of next week, bit showery and wet, but warm with those nor'westers. Strong, strong change though coming in behind it. Now, we think it'll arrive on Friday or Saturday. This cold change here, the isobars not coming from due south, but certainly coming from the southwest and under a very large high that's over here in Australia, it's all going to push up towards us. So that is one to watch. We'll update you again on Friday.